Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am your spiritual caffeine for a high vibrational life. My name is Mitchell. I'm the Intuitive Messenger as well as your energy forecaster for today, Wednesday, July 3rd, 2013. Very excited about today. My blog talk radio show starts tonight, first show ever, uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be taking calls for readings um, on whatever you got going on. Plus, I'm putting a big emphasis on animal communication. So I'd love for half of the show to be about um, your animals, your pets, those uh, critters and creatures near and dear to your heart and around you, especially about healing for them um, because a lot of times the animals are there for us so the readings end up turning back to um, the person rather than the animal but um, my friend Brenna will be screening calls helping me out tonight I plan to have a, a big queue um, and uh, and the callers and in the chat room so please join uh, I just launched my virtual lab uh, on the any meeting and this should work anywhere around the world. You can go to anymeeting.com, see if you can get on there and work with that. I posted on my Facebook page, but I will be teaching the basics of tarot on Tuesday night, July 16th, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will last probably about 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the question and answer portion that I have planned. But this is a great brush up for those who use cards, but also for those just getting started. We'll talk about everything from how to buy a deck, but if you have a deck already, bring it um, to connecting, to reading, to everything, the suits, the major, the minor, arcana. So looking forward to that. As always, thanks for subscribing, following, and uh, supporting me and here's your card for today the world card I love it I love it and for me this is so neat I don't know if you can see this but I immediately broke out into a sweat so I feel very high vibrational very healing right now and I'm gonna take that cue um, that the intention that is set on the screen rolling by is the same intention and I do a little bit more um, that I want you to set for yourself especially you know, resonating and vibrating that high level of divine love. That's where the healing can happen if you allow it. So I'm feeling the relief from the warmth. So I'm, I'm sending that healing out from above through me to you. And I literally just got a message that said, the reason I have, over my life, I've talked about this a lot, I would break out into a sweat and I can't cool down. And I've learned how to intentionally like just bring the thermometer down in my head and I can feel it drop. I've been in rooms where I can set the intention to lower the, the, the temperature in the room and it does and it feels great. And literally I just heard from Spirit because the moment I said I send that to you, threw me to you, I felt that it's like the, the switch was flipped and they said that's what it's been all your life. So I'm having a major Oprah Winfrey aha moment right now live and that is that all my life the healing would come down th to me, but I wouldn't let it out through me. And it's like it backed up, and that's why I got so hot. So uh, whoever is needing this healing right now, I am sending it to you. Just accept it. Don't specify it. Just let it come to you. It may, You may be thinking about your tooth, but it's about your ovaries. I don't know, or your big toe. So just let it come in and, and work your for your highest and best. So that was more like my open door right there. So there's your message. Let the energy come in and through. 21, the world card. I'm going to pull it in now. So here we have this beautiful card. And this is our fool. He's unmasked here. Almost got emotional saying that. He's unmasked. Wow, and I'm really getting emotional. I'm not, I don't think I ever have. I'm not going to cry. I can tell that. But this is about today for me. So I apologize for, for, for this seeming so much about me right at the moment. But... This is me unmasking myself. This is me, the fool, and this is the lesson for you is our fool starts off, you know, as a zero card and it ends at 21. And through that journey, he goes through the empress, through the high priestess, through the devil card, through the lover card. You know, he gets stuck in the hangman and you'll see him there. He gets stuck in the wheel as well, the monotony. You know, so our fool, our monk, our hero, all on the journey to enlightenment, to growth. And here they are at the end 
ripping the mask off, realizing all the symbols of the zodiac sign right there around him. They are part of the whole. The, see the hourglass he's standing on? The time is done. So 21 brings it to an end. And interesting because 21 is number three. I'm the empress, number three. Hangman also resonates with me because it's a number three as well. So beautiful, beautiful card about bringing things to a close, ending chapter, starting brand new ones. Uh, it's a fun, you know, again, I'm living the example right now. The radio show starts tonight. Yesterday, I literally hit the button for my um, virtual, on lab, virtual lab online classes because I used to teach in the Orlando area and had, I would have 20, 30 people in a classroom at a time around here. And that's a, that's a huge class. And it dwindled and I kept saying, what's going on, what's going on? And now I can look back and see I was still on my journey. I was in my hangman time. I was in my incubating cocoon time. Um, and then probably over the last year, because uh, a month from yesterday will be one year that I started these videos, one every day, when I'm on vacation, I pre-did them and posted them. I've not skipped a day. Um, if you, you can't find it, I did every single day so far for 11 months in a day. So, you know, here, I've been in that cocoon. It is busting open. My wings are about to fly. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly images all over the place. I know about 10 of you are going to say, yes, butterfly, fly, flap your wings. So, um, uh, and I've only had half a cup of coffee, so I'm on spiritual caffeine right now. So enjoy this day of bringing the chapter to a close. And when you do, it's just one page, one page to the next chapter. It's not a big jump. It's not like we've ended the book. In, in my personal opinion, ending the book is when we leave the body. So we got, I got a long book. I've always planned to live to 120 because, and by doing that, I'm really keeping myself as healthy as I can because I want to get to 120, still writing books, still producing videos, although they'll probably call it something different by then. Um, probably, I'll probably astral project right to you um, by that point because I believe we can. Um, so all that being said, Thank you, thank you, thank you. My chapter is closing, which means I just turn the page and a new one starts, which is actually going to be tonight. So um, call in 15, 20 minutes ahead of time. I will be screening the calls, and then once the show starts, Brenna will do that. Be prepared to send in a, a picture of an animal uh, via email or post it on my Facebook page. I'm going to have two computers going so I can uh, handle that without disrupting the show. Um, I think that's about it. So I say to you, namaste. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your closing of chapter. New one starts right away. Talk to you guys tonight and then tomorrow.